Now, let's face it, other than the Foot Clan, Jackie Chan is the closest thing to a ninja we have nowadays. I mean, the guy is a freaking martial arts and movie super stud. But I gotta be honest, I had no idea he was so big in America in the late 80s and early 90s that he warned his own game about kicking ass. But apparently he did, so we got Jackie, Jackie Chan's Chan. Action, Action Kung Fu! With crazy smiling Jackie Chan. So as with any console, the longer it's out, generally the more developers figure out the best way to maximize it. This was totally the case with Jackie Chan. I mean, the game almost looks like a Super Nintendo game, but nope, it was straight 8-bit, and hot damn! Are you listening to this music? Some consider this the best 8-bit music ever. It's nice. So as massive head Jackie Chan, you gotta rescue your hot piece of ass, but guess what? Standing in your way is a bunch of bad guys. Now remember how cool you thought Ryu and Ken were throwing their fireballs? Done before. And Sub-Zero? Done before. And that cool part in Contra 3 where the fire just goes right over you? That's right. Man, Massive Head Jackie Chan had a crap ton of cool stuff in it. And while we're at it, everyone talks about how great Chuck Norris is, but has Chuck ever punched a tiger so hard it actually exploded? How about Swept kicked a bird made of fire? Or maybe Ninja chopped a frog so hard it vomited ninja kicks? Jackie Chan has. Obviously that kind of thing takes a little bit of training, so you're not going to be successful the first time you try these things. So what happens when Massive Head Jackie Chan bites the big one? Massive convulsions! <laughs> And what's even more awesome is when you run out of continues. Poor Massive Head Jackie gets crushed by a giant red continue clam and just lays there, twitching. Absolute genius. Seriously, this game is awesome. Jackie Chan's action kung fu is the bomb, and if you haven't played this, you are doing yourself a giant disservice. It's straight up platforming, tiger punching, giant head fun, and without a shadow of a doubt, is such an accomplishment in old school gaming that it should absolutely serve as the centerpiece to Jackie Chan's career. Okay, maybe not, but it's still good.